In this video, we're going to go over a common issue that we run into regarding medications. As you can see in this visit, I'm seeing a patient for hypertension and I'm going to continue their lisinopril. However, when you look in the medication list, you can see there are two instances of lisinopril noted. I can also see there's an old prescription for Keflex and Zithromax that somehow never got taken off the list. Now we could update those by coming here and just marking one of the lisinoprils as discontinued and marking the two antibiotics as discontinued and that would work. However, when you close the window you can see that the list now shows lisinopril discontinued but it still shows another lisinopril as being active and this can be confusing. When the patient gets their visit summary and takes a look at it, what they can see is the reason for the visit, which is here, and they're told to continue lisinopril. But then when they look down their current medication list, they can see lisinopril listed both here under taking and also here under discontinued. And this could be confusing. In addition, they can see the Zithromax and Keflex were discontinued, and this may make sense to them, but they may also wonder if they had been intended to keep taking these medications or not. Again, it could be confusing. Instead, Another way is instead go to the medication reconciliation list and instead of marking these as discontinued, mark them as taking, but now simply add a stop date and pick today's date. So we'll add the date. When we hit close and we update the list, you can see the medication list now shows the lisinopril. Now yes, it does show it twice, once here and once here, and there's the antibiotics. Notice these three have the stop date. So when you go to the visit summary, you will now see diagnosis, continue lisinopril, and then down the medication list, you can see lisinopril is listed here, and it's listed here. Yes, it's listed twice, but I think that's less confusing. And notice there's your stop date there on the lisinopril, as well as the two antibiotics. What will happen is tonight at midnight, when the new day arrives, these medications with the stop date will drop off the list. And if you were seeing them even tomorrow, they would no longer be there. However, it doesn't add anything to the patient's instructions regarding discontinuing the second lisinopril. All it shows is continuing lisinopril. Yes, this is kind of a workaround, but on the other hand, until eClinical Works comes up with some better process, this is what we found helps and minimizes confusion. So I hope it's helpful for you.